Hey guys, a very good morning to all of you. This is your friend Mainar from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on barbering schedule. So friends, barbering schedule is very important if you want to procure materials at the site also. Uh, it's an important part of every building estimation. So in today's video, we'll do the barbering schedule of a particular slab uh, using MS Excel, which makes it efficient. And also you can uh, use it for another project as well. That's why uh, I recommend using MS Excel uh, for the bargaining schedule. We are going to find out the bargaining schedule of a particular slab. So uh, first of all, uh, we have this particular slab here. So as yeah, you can see, we have the center to center distances uh, found out of this slab. And we have cut a section here, as you can see. And this is the section of the slab, which is given in the structural drawing. So now we want to find out the bargaining schedule. Uh, including the total uh, weight of the bar which will be required in this case so let's get started uh, so i've named this slab uh, s1 as you can see i have named this slab as s1 and we're going to find out the bars of this so uh, i have uh, classified it into bottom river one and bottom river two so why this bottom river one and two let's find out so basically uh, when you see along the bottom uh, if we see along the uh, shorter span shorter span is this one 4.47 okay so if, if it is this one so here it will be this one this particular sorry this one this particular bar will be along the shorter span so now this bar one particular bar will start from here and go up to uh, go all through and another bar will start from as you can see here and it will go all through so it will be alternate arrangement as you uh, must have seen in the construction sites, one will start from here and go all through and one will start from here and go all through. So uh, that, that's why it is a uh, bottom bar one and bottom bar two. So let's uh, quickly go through it first. So the diameter of bar used is 10 mm bars. As you can see, the dia of the bar here is 10 mm bars and the spacing is 150 center to center. So we'll come to spacing. Number of bars, we have to find out number of members. Also, there is one member since we are on uh, the S1, we are considering one member. Number of bars will find out the shape of it will be like this. There will be no bends or hooks uh, for the bottom rebar. Uh, the cutting length of the bar we have to find out, and which will be equal to the sum of all this, all the three. Total length of the bar uh, will be our uh, cutting length of the bar. Cutting length is like cutting length of one bar into the number of bars, and total length of the bar in all members will be the total length of one bar into the number of bars. Okay, so like this uh, we can. Uh, uh, find out and uh, this uh, weight unit weight of one particular bar is d square by 162 uh, uh, which is which has been found out and the total weight will be the weight unit weight into the total length of the bar so like this we can find out and so let's start so first of all as you can see these values are uh, quite fixed so uh, first of all let's find for the cutting length so for the cutting length the bar will go so this particular bar will go like this so the center to center distance is a 4.47. So that's why, that's why we have written 4.47. So I've written 4.47 into 0.85. Why 0.85? Let us show you. So we have this along two end that is discontinuous end and continuous end. As you can see, discontinuous, continuous. So here also, as you can see, this end is discontinuous and this end is continuous. Okay. So in the discontinuous end, we are taking from uh, from after the column 0.15L. So 0.15 well, after leaving 0.15 well, this bar starts from here and will go all through. And along the continuous end, leaving 0.25 L. So this bar has a spacing of 150. And uh, so now this this one, the, this, this therefore it is a spacing of uh, point leaving after leaving 0.15 well. So we have done, uh, multiplied the center to center distance into 0.85. And here we are leaving 0.25 well and then starting so we have multiplied it by 0.75. So that's why we have multiplied this. So this is explaining itself. So since this is uh, 0.125 only on one side, because it will start from one side and uh, it will go to this. So you can uh, write zero here on one side for both the spans. Like this, now it's okay. Uh, and after that, after this bottom river is done, um, then then go to the bottom river along the longer span. So the bottom river along the longer span will be this one, like this. And in this, if you want to see, that is this one. This is the longer span bottom river and the spacing of 125 and 10 mm bars are used. And these 
bottom rewards will go you know all through so now this uh, will go all through and the length along which it will go is the longer span obviously so that's about the concept and uh, let's discuss about the cutting length of it so the cutting length will be your this particular available length that is uh, if it goes along the longer span the cutting length will be this one it will it goes along this so the cutting length will be 4.887 and this, for this along both the sides 0.125 and 0.125 will be added so for this along both sides 0.125 is added now we are clear about the cutting lengths now let's go for the number of bars the number of bars here is as you can see this number of bars for the shorter span is the length of the longer span divided by 0.26 so why is it so first of all let's see why it is along the uh, why the length is for the longer span so the shorter span bars as you can see will go like this so this will be the length which will be which will determine the number of bars so it will go like this like this 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 so this will be the length we are taking this length and divided by your we should divide it by what is the factor here 150 but we should remember that there is two bars going one bar is going from here to here and another alternate bar is going from here to then so the spacing will be 150 to 2 that is what 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 is that is 300 and 300 plus the diameter of one particular bar so that is 310 so we can show you suppose this is the bar uh, this exactly we can show you. this is the bar like this and we have another bar here and we have another bar so this bar you know suppose this bar you know goes from starts from here and this bar starts from here so it is like this this bar again starts from the same as this one so like it is like this so if the distance between these two is 150 and the distance between this and this should be your 150 into 2 plus this diameter of the bar so that should be 310 so this distance should be your 310 so that should be the distance between this 310 the so distance has been specified for both the bars so if the number of bars and we will easily find out the total length of the bar okay so for the longer span what will be the uh, length the length will be this one that is the shorter span length shorter span length but we have multiplied the shorter span length into 0.85 so we'll just divide it by 0.85 and give it a spacing of 150 as you can see here this we have a spacing of this 125 here so we'll just change the spacing to 125 so the spacing is 125 the length is length which will determine the number of bars since it is going like this so this length will determine the number of bars 4.47 divided by your what is the uh, you know this uh, spacing 125 so the spacing divided 125 it determines the length so like this we find the bottom rebar along the longer span now for the top rebar along the shorter span so for the top rebar along the shorter span we have the number of bars as you can see this equals to uh, is uh, found out by this one divided by 150 now let's find out the cutting length first so for the cutting length of top rebar one so let this be our top rebar one and let this be our top rebar two so because this is along if we cut the section like this so so the so the horizontal one will be the this one and this one so this is the top river one and two so for the top river one which is along the discontinuous end if you observe the one is a discontinuous end which is on discontinuous end the length will be your 0.1 l so l is uh, definitely 4.47 here and 0.1 l we are taking it is one dimension another dimension will be you know half of the uh, beam which is 0.25 and another dimension will be the hook 
like this because the top ribbon will go below like this. So hook length you've taken as 150. So this is the hook length. So we'll add this and get the cutting length here. And for the number of rebars, we can easily divide it by the longer span and divide by the spacing. So now let's check the spacing of this particular bars, which we are seeing. This is 150 spacing. So we'll just, just divide into it by 150 and use the, use the round up, round up function to increase it by one. So that's how we have found out the top rebars. Uh, top rebar span one. For the span two also, it will be the same, except what will happen because this is the continuous one. So since it is the continuous end, so it will go 0.125 only 0.125 here because that will, will start from here. So 0.125 is sufficient for this. There will be no L here. So this will be the top rebar one and two along the continuous and the discontinuous end. Please note that the, uh, there can be a slab in which both the ends are continuous. Uh, as you can see for this one, this is also continuous, this is also continuous. And uh, this one is continuous on four sides. So like this also can happen, but I'm talking about this particular slab and conditions okay so now the next one will be your okay so this one is uh this one we have found out top rebar number of top rebars this is also the length divided by this and next the top rebar longer span so the top rebar longer span is this one this one is definitely the longer span and the top rebar and the longer span here if you observe the new section it is this one the spacing is 125 and what will be the cutting length? The cutting length will be, the cutting length has to be decided here. So the cutting length for it, as you can see, along the longer span will be definitely on this 4.877. If you can uh, check the cutting length, this will be, this is the longer span. So it will be along the full longer span here. So 4.877 plus uh, 0.125 and plus 0.125 along this. So it will be like this. 4.877 plus 0.125 and this also 0.125. So cutting length has been decided. Now for the total length of the total number of rebars. So the spacing, as you can see, is 125. So we have divided it by uh, 125. And the distance, how can you find the distance? The distance will be the sum of these two. Because as you can see, the uh, the top bar, this one, top bar along the longer span is only along the portion where we have this bars along the shorter span. So this distance will be equal to the portion which will cover for this bars along the longer span. So we have added this to distance divided by 125 and found out the total number of top bars required. So like this, we have found out the BBS of this particular stack. Hope you found this video useful and keep subscribed to our channel and also share it with your friends for more such videos. Keep learning. Bye-bye.